they say everything is fair in love and war. It seems like everything is also fair in politics. After all, it is common for politicians to use any and every means to defeat their rivals. We want to bring your attention to the Indian state of Karnataka, where it seems the supernatural and superstition are being used as political weapons. Just on Thursday, the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, D.K. Shivkumar, accused his political opponents of performing black magic on him and also the Chief Minister. Black magic. According to Shiv Kumar, the aim was to topple the government in the state by eliminating them. And for this task, he said, Tantrics, or also known as occultists, have been employed to carry out the job. The exercise, he added, was done at a temple in the form of a special worship. Shiv Kumar gave precise details of the ritual. 21 red goats, 3 buffaloes, 21 black sheep, and five pigs were sacrificed for the black magic. Shivakumar, however, declined to mention which of their political rivals is behind the ritual. Asked if he planned to get a counter ritual performed for his well being, Shivakumar refused to do so, claiming that he believed in God who will protect him. Now, Indian politics, and especially in Karnataka, it is no stranger to superstition. In 2016, the ruling Congress accused its rival, the Janata Dal Secular, for performing black magic to evoke a curse on an office building. The opposition JDS, it seems, had lost the building to the Congress in a court case. Congress leaders alleged that before handing over the building to them, the JDS people had put a curse on it. And before this, there was B.S. Yedurappa, the BJP chief minister of the state, alleged that his rivals were doing black magic to kill him. As unbelievable or far-fetched black magic may seem to you, many states in India have taken it seriously. You'll be surprised to know there are legislation to legally outlaw the practice. The state of Maharashtra, for example, has an anti-superstition act that was passed in the year 2013 that criminalizes the practice of black magic. The state of Bihar has the anti-superstition act that was enacted in the year 1999. Karnataka itself has a law preventing black magic. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.